welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial will focus on painting. Now before I start, uh, please understand that uh, my way of painting is not the best. Uh, it is uh, suited for my needs uh, and uh, my skills. Uh, obviously everyone of us uh, has a way of doing things. Uh, we call this in French un savoir-faire. That said, uh, I would advise you to experiment and uh, play with the uh, different options that Krita offers. That's the only way you are going to find out, uh, you know, what works for you. Uh, try things out, uh, you know, take, take notes and um, test the strengths and the weaknesses of the software. And when you find out what works, or it doesn't work for you, uh, don't be afraid to go and uh, find uh, the tools that you need somewhere else. Uh, I personally work with three painting apps, uh, Fresco, that is I believe from Adobe, uh, Krita, obviously uh, the one here, and uh, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, since you can save your work as a Photoshop file in Krita, you can do also the same in Fresco, I go then back and forth between the three painting apps. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment area. I, I will be uh, more than happy to help you as usual. Uh, this is why this uh, channel was created after all. I hope this tutorial today will answer the majority of your questions and that you will consider subscribing. All right, enough talk and let's uh, get started. So first we are going to uh, organize the brush that we are going to use and for this we are going to go here in the brush area so we are we have to click on the brush on the hand free uh, brush tool or free hand brush tool in order for this to work so now that I clicked on it now this is working I can open my brushes and as you can see there is a search bar right there that you can uh, look for brushes if you already know what you want to look for. So I want some bristle brushes so I'm just going to type the word bristle and see what comes up and when I do my uh, uh, search I have all the bristle, bristle details, bristle froides, bristle large all the bristles are basically now showing and what I want to do is that I want to save a few of them, the one that I am more interested to work with. So for instance, the bristles texture, I like it, so I am going to right click on it and I'm going to assign it to a tag. So assign to tag and I'm cre going to create my own tag. So right here I'm going to type Corinne, that is my name brushes and I am going to add it so now if I go right here I should have Corinne's brushes and I have a bristle texture so let's go back to uh, all the brushes let's do again bristles and now I want a bristle hairy so let's see if I can find it uh, where is my bristles? Bristle Harry's. Okay, here we go. Assign to tag and now it goes to Corinne's brushes. There is another one that I like. Uh, it is the wet bristle. So where is my wet bristle? Bristles wet. All right. So same thing. Right click, assign to tag and now to Corinne's. All right, here we go. So I'm going to continue and put a few brushes uh, on my new tag and I'll see you at the end and I'll show you all the brushes, okay? All right, so now let's go back to my tag, Corinne's brushes. And now, as you can see, I have a basic mix soft, bristles hairy, bristles textured, bristles wet, bristles one details, fill block and fill circle. So the two last ones usually are used for sketching, I mean for me at least I use them for sketching 
and here is the ones that I'm going to use to paint okay so now they should show right here all right and uh, in uh, another video I showed you that you can move uh, the dockers wherever you want and today I am going to move my brushes because I rather have them on the top I'm going to move them to the top so I'm gonna click on my little button right here it's just popped out now I'm going to grab my brushes here we go and I'm gonna put them right here at the bottom and I am going to put them as a thumbnail here we go so first thing we're gonna do as you can see we have one layer with a sketch if I turn it off obviously now I'm left only with the background and the background is white right now but I don't want the background to be white so I'm going to click on the background and I'm going to do Control plus A to select the entire background as you can see we have those marching ends going all around the canvas and I'm going to choose a color on my color wheel and I'm going to make like a dark blue right here now as I explained to you in another tutorial as soon as you select a color in the color wheel it becomes your foreground right here and you can go back and forth between the foreground and the background by hitting the X key on your keyboard and if you want to change the background color right now it's black you just click on it a new wheel color uh, or color wheel <laughs> appears and uh, you can change uh, the color of your background so we're gonna make it white if you want and you say okay and now in order to fill my selection because basically I made a selection this is the entire canvas has been selected you do a shift plus backspace to fill with a foreground now if I wanted to fill with a background it would have been control plus backspace now control shift a to undo and now we can uh, turn back on the sketch layer and here it is we're gonna start and we're gonna choose a brush so we are going to start and maybe select uh, let's see which one is this the basic blur we want I want my bristle brush and bristle hairy right here okay so I am going to create a new layer on the top of my uh, sketch and I am going to put it as overlay and overlay is going to allow me to uh, add some highlights to my car so I'm going to use maybe a cyan right here and a very clear cyan like this one here and I am going to start brushing areas on my car but I think the light is going to hit and uh, make you know highlights on the car so maybe I should uh, there we go let's make it bigger right here and uh, if you remember also from another video and uh, by the way I will make sure to add links on the you know top uh, right corner of the screen I would put links to those videos so in another video I showed you that to uh, make the size of your brush bigger or smaller you use the brackets uh, one will make it smaller and this one here this bracket will make it bigger all right or you can also use the sliders right here to make your uh, brush size a bigger or smaller and you also can type directly a number like 50 and press enter so you see you have different options so here you go you add uh, some highlights to your car and this method that we are doing right now is that we are coloring a black and white picture
So let's say that the car is going to be red, a deep red. I am going to create a new layer on the top and this time I'm going to make it multiply right here. And here I am going to add all my dark red. And if I want to paint a normal red without any effects, I am going to paint below the sketch. You always paint below a sketch. So I'm going to first create a new layer and then I'm going to use the arrows here and move it to the bottom and I would paint with my red right here. As you so I am going to paint the, the car using my uh, freehand brushes and I'm going to go back and forth between the different layers, between the overlay layer to add some highlights, between the multiply layer to add some shadows and then here I'm gonna go underneath and I'm really going to put the base paint, you know, the real color of the car. So I'll see you at the end of the video, okay? All right, so here we are, it's uh, done. So let me turn off one by one the layers and show you what I've done. And let's go back to the sketch that is right here. So what I did is I first created a layer underneath the sketch and I painted all the areas using three brushes right here. I went back and forth between the bristle textured, the bristle wet, and the bristles hairy and uh, I followed obviously the uh, outline of my sketch to create some nice, nice uh, texture uh, of paint. Then I created uh, some layers above my sketch. Uh, first one was shadows to create the shadows and let me turn off the paint right here and the sketch. Here we go. So here are the shadows and uh, this is obviously on the multiply uh, blending mode. Always create your shadows uh, on multiply and playing with the different settings of the opacity. Uh, for instance, here you can see that this was more opaque and here more transparent. I used uh, my uh, bristle hairy brush and I painted uh, different uh, areas for the shadows. So again, very important, play with the opacity. Don't always use 100%. Sometimes you just need 20, 25% and sometimes just 60%, etc. I usually don't go more than 60% when I do my shadows. Then I added another layer and I did the highlight and this time it was on an overlay blending mode and this time I used a white color but not completely white. I left here the settings uh, on the color wheel as you can see because I wanted you to see exactly the uh, shading that I use. I use basically a white that is closer to a light yellow. It's a really, 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 really faint yellow. So it's not completely white, okay? And same thing here, I played with my opacity uh, settings and I painted the areas. Then I did another layer on the very top and uh, I set this one as a screen blending mode. And this time I used a true white, so 100% white. But same thing here again, I played with the opacity levels. As you can see, this one here is more opaque than this one here. And uh, finally, uh, what you can do if you're not happy with uh, the color, you can go back to your paint layer and doing Ctrl U, you can change the color of your car. So maybe you want it to be a little more uh, pinkish or maybe you want it to be blue or maybe you want it to be green. And I guess you can also want it to be yellow. As you can see, you can play a lot with all the tools that you have available. You can do also a Ctrl plus M to get uh, your color adjustment curves. And here, if you go up, you make it lighter. And if you go down, you go uh, a little darker. 
and you can also add points to your curve and play with the different points, okay? So uh, just play with the tools and do, uh, you know, use whatever works the best for you. I'm going to cancel this one. There is another one that I want to show you, Control plus B, and it's the color balance. And here you are getting more specific of what colors you want to change. So play again with the sliders and see what works best for you. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that you can do. Uh, control Z to undo something here. And yeah, that's about it. And we are done for today. Links to my previous videos on Creed are listed in the text box below. As usual, feel free to visit my website to see more tutorials. You can also check out my creations on Instagram and uh, Pinterest. I hope to see you next week. Have fun painting and uh, experimenting. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, leave them in the comment areas. I will be more than happy to help you. <laughs> so until next time, have a great week, okay? <laughs> Bye.